in relation to the persuasion thing is if it can look at your images and it knows where you've gone to holidays and it's able to pick up, you know, really information yeah. that maybe even we can't pick up, right? It's, it's spotting things, you know, that we didn't even realize was being given away in pictures and it's putting together a profile for you in order to, con to convince you. But that's not future tech. That's today tech. That can happen right now. Yeah. That's yeah. frightening Absolutely. crap out of you, frankly. <laughs> Would you say that the 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 positives of doing that study outweigh the ethical gray area? I don't think it's even up for debate in my mind. Absolutely, right. It's the same reason that you have open source software, right? The more that it's out in the open, right, and the more that people know, yes, this is possible. Yes, you can be manipulated. Like mm -hmm. what else? Although it's going to happen anyway. So the best thing to do mm -hmm. is to do the studies, and. And then look at how to address whatever comes out of the study. So do the social media mm. platforms need to do something to stop this from happening? Do we need to be educated in a different way so we can spot when we're being manipulated? But the technology exists already. So yes, it's good to, the study is, it was done in the way that I would do it too, right? Because if you let people know, they will, it invalidates the study, just as you said. And two, it's a really good study to do. And we need to do more of them. And it's almost, it's almost good publicity, the bad publicity because it sort of brings people's attention to it. So I'd agree with you, but I think you should be yeah. even more frightened of it. I think it should scare you.